Welcome at the user tutorial of Lab2. Um, we have set a lot of uh, functions and software for you. Uh, at the menu you will find uh, a lot of applications. You can search by name or by um, subject. Um, the file explorer, more or less like in every operating system, you can change uh, the view mode, uh, copy, delete, a lot of features uh, like you're used to. Also external devices, USB sticks, server, etc. We have pre-installed three tools for online communication, Yitzi, Teams and Zoom, but there are much more, so decide what you need. Um, we also collected a lot of manuals and here are two books about Mate desktop, uh, thanks to the writer who allowed us to use them for our project. Here are a lot of useful information about tools, settings, etc. It's worth to read. Then we have a setting for the screen. Uh, you can define the resolution, you can add a second monitor or projector. Uh, decide if it's used as two screens or both show the same content that's managed here. Kivix is an offline tool for offline content. So these wikis and other uh, content is locally, not in the internet. If you set languages to all, uh, you will see, for instance, here a Swahili content Formerly only English content was shown, so you must uh, either filter for languages or all if you want to see all installed content. And it's really nice uh, content in local languages, so uh, you're able here for the children to teach them in Swahili uh, or French or Thai or whatever language you need. Several hundred are available. Then there is a welcome tool for the operating system Linux Mint, which we are using, settings, uh, documents, training, online chat support, but be careful, don't uh, ruin the system. So please consider what you manage and change. When we deliver it to you, it is uh, a lot of things are preset and a lot of experience is part of our concept. The LibreOffice Suite is legally free, so you can copy it, use it for other users as well. It's like, you know, Word, Excel and other programs, but it's called Writer, Calc, etc. But the functionality and the um, use is more or less as you are used from other text operating systems. Uh, the browser, we uh, suggest to use Firefox. The first tab are the video tutorials, maybe you're watching them now. Um, manuals, information, uh, we also collected for you. If you are uh, online, then you will see here a search page. Now we are not online, so an error is reported. English content a lot, roughly an oversea container, uh, literally uh, full of documents about medical information, school information, teacher information, a lot, a lot, a lot, about 120, 30 gigabyte. It's uh, really, really helpful. English language courses, um, a lot of uh, content, open educational resources we searched and collected for you and we recommend uh, to pre-install and to use it. Um, please get in contact with your LabDo supporter so he installs the system best fitting for your needs. Here when you scroll down you will see children books, um, health care information, teachers information from UNESCO and a lot other helpful things. You can connect by Bluetooth your phone, 
change the keyboard. We preset typical keyboards, but you can add more if you need. Um, just choose the keyboard layout which you need. You can also remove keyboard layouts which you don't need. Battery status, update information about if the system has to update, connect to Wi-Fi, available with network and then choose your network, type in the password of your Wi-Fi and then you get connected to the web connection established and now when you go back to the page now you are connected to the internet and can search whatever you want to loudspeaker and shut down or restart the system it's more or less similar as you used to date clock the system will uh, synchronize time with the internet as soon as you connect with with the internet but you can manage also by hand the control center is also very familiar with other operating system you can add a printer by usb B connection, Wi-Fi, or in your network, uh, automatically the drivers should be installed. The mouse speed or touch pad, if it's not fast enough, you can <coughs> manage to um, to act faster or more slowly. Um, there's a lot of other details which you can change, but be careful that you don't. Uh, change settings which <laughs> are helpful uh, languages um, English in this case is pre-installed but you can change to any other language or install additional languages if you want the software center uh, gives you access to several ten thousands of programs which you can download legally for free some cost uh, some money but um, more than 90 95 percent are for free it takes a while because it has to download a long list of available software in the meantime we go here for the um, subjects uh, the games educational programs Graphic, you can uh, have a lot of programs here uh, for the children, for education, um, desktop publishing, uh, office programs, internet programming, informatic, uh, audio, video uh, management. So check out here uh, what is what you need. You have programs here from MIT uh, for informatic for children. Um, you can uh, manage uh, documents, PDFs, um, you can publish your own ebooks. A lot of, lot of programs are pre installed, um, but there's even more. We cannot install the home, whole um, set of uh, software available. Even for a disabled user, there are screen readers. You can control uh, the computer by your eye movement, etc. So here we are back to the software manager and you can see that there are certain programs recommended. You can decide if, if you want to use them or not. If installed, you will see a green hook at the, the right corner of a program. Otherwise, just Click on it, uh, read it if you want it, and install it, but you will use the um, administrator password. Have fun, and we, I hope we could give you a short overview.